Ann Butler here. Welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make these great graphics for onesies or tees. And what we're going to use is Nina EPC film and the Artograph Light Pad Pro. So let's get started. What you're going to want to do is create a saying that will fit on your onesie using your electronic cutter and print it in reverse. So I have that right here and you can see it's kind of difficult to see the words. So with the light pad you can see those words so much clearer to be able to weed out all that extra. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away this extra right here because I can use this for another saying. And to get started, you, you wouldn't need to use the light pad for this part so much, although it helps to see. But you want to start by grabbing loose some of the film and pulling it away from the backing. This part can be done almost in full. So you can take and pull it and pull it slowly so that your the rest of your stuff should stay. But where you're going to find the magic of the light pad is when you're trying to get out all of the little stuff inside the E and the A's and all of those things. So I'm going to pull this off and we'll be right back. Now with the light pad you can see exactly where your cut lines are so you know exactly where to do this. Without it's harder to see but with it makes such a difference and it makes this process so much easier. So I just take the tool and getting it started is like the hardest part, but at least when I'm scratching away at this, I'm not scratching at the letter itself. I'm just scratching because I can see those lines. I'm scratching only at the part that I'm trying to get off and throw away anyways. So it makes it perfect to see. So you do that with all of those extra letters. Now to put it on your onesie, get your onesie out and put it on your ironing board. Make sure that's all nice and flat. And take your, your graphic saying and place it exactly where you want it. You'll want to follow the manufacturer's instructions for whatever film you're using or vinyl. But for this, you place it and you set and hold it and move around slowly for about a minute. I like to take and turn my iron so that I'm making sure that I'm getting good even pressure over the entire onesie. When you're all done, you let it cool down completely and then peel it away. And that's how easy it is to create these cute little baby onesies. Until next time, have fun and be creative.